Okay, the human ear. Uh, pretty much there it is in all its sideways glory. Uh, from uh, from the inside, it looks kind of like uh. Wow, that's really high. All right. It looks kind of like this. This is the basic shape. Remember, you're gonna have uh, everybody's ear is gonna have different sized lumps and different sized uh, well, everything really. Uh, That's really sloppy, isn't it? Ah, I'm getting lazy towards the end of this tutorial. I apologize, guys. It was work. Manual labor, it's killing me. Little bits at a time. But from the side, it's going to look kind of like that. You're going to have basically just, just, just a little cup. And an earlobe. From which to hang a stylish hoop earring, which is why I drew it like that. And of course, the cast shadows and all should be obvious from the lines on it. But uh, the basic shapes of the ear are a C with a little lump at the end. And you can get away with drawing them really simply. Uh, a lot of times people are not going to pay that much attention if you're if you're not anatomy is not exact on the ear from uh from the per front perspective you know you you see a little bit of the inside of the ear you don't see a lot so it's easily just darkened right in depending on how close you are to the character of course It's so hard not to draw the rest of the face. Okay. From the three quarters angle, you're going to see a lot more of the ear. Let's see. We've got to draw in the eyes here. So I can, so I can gauge where the face is, where the ears are. But pretty much the same shape. Uh, except for you're going to see a little deeper into it. Uh, and the nose on there. Cheekbone. Cheekbone. Lips. Sometimes it's okay if you're far enough away not to draw the whole indention in the lip. I mean, it all depends on the level of detail you're planning on putting in the character. If it's a background character, a lot of times you don't need a lot of detail on the brow lines and eyes. Uh, just like the Vanishing Point tutorial, he looks mean, doesn't he? I don't think this guy is a very nice person. I think he's the type of person that would make you uh, trim bushes all day long. <laughs> Which would be me, because I decided... I was going to be the person to trim bushes all day long. Oh, and one other thing. Right on the head, don't forget the temple. The The head has a, has a little, has, has a little bit of an indentation right there before it goes up. I know I said it's a basic circle in a square, and it is basic circle in a square. But you gotta you gotta remember that uh after you find after you after you've drawn the basic lines you need to uh you need to enhance them, you need to adjust them. Uh got the M mouth. And let's give this guy a big old honking nose. I think he needs, I think he needs a nose of 
of all times. Rock of the Ages noses. And we'll bring that we'll bring that bridge all the way up. on the monkey part of the face because that's got to be well shaded under that nose by the size of that thing. He needs a big bulbous chin too. And uh... I don't think I'll give him a Cro Magnon brow, brow. I like his brow just the way it is. I like it smooth. He's got a smooth brow. He's still got some brow. You gotta, you gotta make the uh, make the depth lines over the eyes. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, we got the ear from this perspective. Actually, the ear from this perspective is that right here. Except the other way around. Uh, you don't, you don't have to do that much detail. Just uh, this guy's got some big honking ears, don't he? Usually, you can get away with this. It's just a C with a little, a little lump at the bottom. And the uh, the ear hole is right there. That's where all the sound goes in. So right after this lump is where the darkest spot should be. Right after that lump right there. You don't have to go into all the little inner lines and stuff unless you're doing a real in close and personal picture of it. Uh, most of the time, like I said, your ears are going to be distant. They're not going to be the focal point of the picture. Uh, your character may have distinctive ears. That may be the feature you chose to, for him. But uh, I don't think I've ever made a character with distinctive ears as his chosen feature. This guy looks like he should have a visor on. Actually, that might be that might be copyrighted. Let, let, let's say he's uh not. I'll just I'll just scratch that word out. <laughs> but here we have. Very, uh, I'm commentary failing today. I'm sorry. I'm I'm doing the drawing. I'm drawing the faces for you guys, but I'm not a, uh, I'm not a uh, uh, articulating very well, aren't I? Uh, it's all basic shapes. It's the basic shapes we've shown you before. Uh, and you you just got to break them down. And if you're drawing a memorable character, you're gonna have to have some memorable features. Uh, a lot of people like to do elf ears, and elf ears are just normal ears that, uh, that curve up, let's see, right around like that. It's, it's the same ear, except for it's got a point at the tip. And you get to draw the lobe because it's behind the uh, the guy with the visor. Uh, but uh, yeah, you got elven ears, dragon ears are even a little more extreme. Dog ears too. They got a little lip around the edge, and then they come in. Uh, dragon ears, dog ears, a lot of animal ears are like this, they're pointy, and a little tiny lip, not much of one, and they come on down, and uh, 
if you remember the uh, episode four t tutorial where we put the first three together. That was the kind of year he had. All right. Uh, I think we've gone over all of the facial features. Uh, we've done the brow here and there, which is basically just the just the beginning of the of the top of the skull. Uh, we got a little pointy thing for the skull there, where the where the nose bridge starts, and some teeth. But anyway, yeah, yeah, the bri the the brow is just the just the beginning of the uh, uh, the skeleton there. Okay, ear hole for the skeleton. I am so very focused tonight. Put some cracks in the skeleton's head. Oh yeah, because he's a cracked skeleton. Uh not that you can see that he's a skeleton because he's behind the guy with the really enormous nose. Alright, so uh, next we're just gonna do a fast forward drawing of, uh, of, a, of a face. That was really loud. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna I think we're gonna do it in uh, we're gonna do it in uh, 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 front face. Because, uh, why not? So, we got a circle. Square. I kind of round out the bottom of the square when I'm doing a face from the front. It kind of indicates that the, where the, uh, where the, uh, uh cheekbones are going to be. So, uh, we draw circles in for the eyes. You don't need the circles for the eyes, but I find it helps me balance balance them a little bit better. Uh, draw in the shape for the nose. Remember all basic shapes. Put the put the rounded end on. Remember the remember the shape for the nose I taught you. And uh, since this is a front perspective, we can cut off some of that circle. And uh, let's go ahead and draw in the brow. That'll help us with our eyes, maybe. Remember to stick with basic shapes until you're ready to ready to finish your uh, finish your drawing. Uh, let's leave a little more room between the eye and the uh, and the nose. He look, he looks upset about something. I think uh, we'll we'll decide what the expression is going to be as I get further. All right, I'll br bring the cheekbones in. Uh, let's give him let's give him a standard chin. Let's go for a normal guy. Uh, if it were a woman's face, it would be uh, more rounded in the chin. I guess I should go ahead and, for a woman's face, a lot of times I'll just do an oval instead of a circle and a square. Because uh, uh, it's just more appealing. You would just hint at the uh, cheekbone lines on a woman. Let's go ahead and do, do her eye sockets here. And she's going to have... You want less detail in a, in a in a woman's face, so a lot of times you're just going to draw the very basic, the very smallest amount of detail as possible. I want to see if I can make one of those cute chicks with the thin upper lip that I was talking about. That would be negatory. Okay. Well, anyway. 
the same basic features as a man. They just 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 draw them a little more rounded, a little less detailed. Uh, thin out her head a little bit there. The AR woman's gonna look weird because I haven't done the hair tutorial. So we're gonna have a bald woman. That's just not gonna be right. I gotta give her some hair. I gotta. There's a nice pointed chin. Ooh, let's see that hairstyle that hides one eye. That's always cute. We just erase out that eye, and we won't have to worry about the symmetry. Awesome. Or that ear. That ear we may have to worry about. Okay. But anyway, male and female features are exactly the same. You just want to use less detail on a woman because uh, they're softer. They're they're less angular. Uh, they're nicer to look at. Uh, for me, anyway. And and you want smaller ears on them. You want uh smaller everything, basically, except for maybe the lips be a little more extenuated and the lashes. And that really depends on the woman, too. And once again, women's features can be all sorts of weird. But anyway, we're going to draw we're going to draw a full out face here. And uh, I haven't done hair tutorials, so we're not even going to do eyebrows. See, the ear matches right about where the eye is. And keep your symmetry. Pay attention on both sides. Unless they got that hairstyle, which is rocking. I think she's even, she may even have the, I'm so unfocused, stop that. Get back to the drawing. Okay. We got the cheekbone, cheekbone. Uh, M&M &M lip. You know what? I'll just fast forward through this.
and there we have a completed head. Very standard, not very outstanding. At least not. Oh, I did say the irises were dark around the edges. Looks like it darkened the edges of those irises. Increased the size of his pupils a little bit. But for the most part, there's a completed head. You got all the facial features at the brow. I didn't add in any of the hair. We're going to do hair at a later time because uh, hair is another one of those things. Not one of those scary tutorials. But faces, faces are easy. Just got to learn the parts. You got to learn the eyes. Remember, they're round and they got a little bit of skin stretched over them. So, uh, and drawing them round first, drawing them in their basic shape always helps. If you draw them in their basic shape before you, uh, before you, uh, uh draw the second one. Because it helps line them up. Also helps if you draw your pupils at the same time. Which I didn't on this guy, so it looks kind of like his eyes are a little off-center. But, uh, these... Okay, yeah, yeah, I screwed that up a little. But, uh... Uh, it's all, it, it's all about, it's all about trying to, the hardest part about a face is symmetry. So, especially on a front-on face like this. Uh, not every face is symmetrical. Uh, actually, the, they say the more symmetrical your features are, the prettier you are. Uh, I'm not going to argue that point. I hadn't thought about it enough to, to decide. Although I do, I do personally like that that whole thing where they have the one little snaggle tooth. Holy crap, that got dark. Why did that get so dark? Okay. Well, I don't know what happened there, but I have a little more shading in there around that eyebrow, underneath the eyebrow. But yeah, just break everything, just like I've been saying the entire time. Break everything down into basic shapes. Uh, 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 and 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 uh, practice, practice a lot on your basic shapes. I I, I often, as I'm going around, uh, I look at things that I, I think would be neat to draw. And I break them down in my head as I'm just going about my daily activity. Uh, I don't know why. Just kind of a hobby, I guess. She needs a few strands hanging out here and there. And you can see this one ear over here. I am so distracted tonight. Oh my god, guys. I hope this video isn't like 30 million years long. Um, I'll cut the heck out of it. And I'll see if I can keep the good parts. If there are any. I may just have to do this whole faces thing again. It's horrible. Because I cannot focus tonight because I worked so hard today. Got that little skunk stripe of different colored air there. I usually use softer shading on a woman too. I'm pressing the button. Stop pressing the button on the pin. I just did away with the M for her, didn't I? That's right, I can put it on the upper lip. No one will notice. Except you guys. 
And you won't tell on me, will you? Since her upper lip is so thin, I'm not going to allow that any shading. You don't always have to. You can use the lip lines as depth lines. You don't always have to connect the lips all the way. Uh, I often use them as depth lines uh, and don't connect them all the way. And notice with the woman, I'll go ahead and draw her eyebrows in because she probably, she plucks hers and I already got hair on her anyway. Uh, notice with the woman, I, I'm using a lot less of the, uh, the depth lines and a lot more just shading to indicate shape. Because, uh, you know, if she were as angular as him, she'd look like him with a pointy chin. But we'll get into, uh, now genders, I'll, 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 I'll do genders. But, uh, yeah, nationalities is just asking for trouble. So, uh, next tutorial is going to be, uh, body positioning, uh, and proportion, because those two go together hand in hand. Uh, if you have a thicker neck, his neck would be almost the same size as his head, if you were bulky. All right. Well, I appreciate you guys watching. I hope everything here was uh, was useful, and uh, hope you uh, if you have any questions, uh, either write them in the comments below or email me at dreamersnights at gmail dot com uh, with the, with your questions, and I answer pretty quickly because uh, no one ever talks to me. Yep, no one ever leaves comments. I'm not feeling the love. I'm I'm, I'm just not feeling it. Uh, send me some art. Send me some art. I want some art. Uh, I, I, I won't make money on it. I promise. I won't monetize the video that we show all everyone's art in. I just, uh, I'd like to see some of my viewers art. Uh, if, especially if I, if, if my tutorials helped you in some way. You guys ready? You guys ready? You guys ready? I'm for force.